Hi there, good morning and a very warm welcome to a racing news special. We are live here at Alan King Stables at Barbary Castle. Barbary Castle situated just in between Marlborough and Swindon. And it is absolutely idyllic here. It is gorgeous. Uh, we've already had first lot. The lads are just tacking up now. And literally, it'll be a case of, of seconds before they, they pull out for second lot. They have three lots here. But, of course, things start very early. You're probably either having your breakfast or have had your breakfast. But here at Barbary Castle, we started at, at 7 o'clock. Well, it's just after 7 o'clock. And as you can see, the string are already in the outdoor school here, just warming up. Alan's assistant, Ollie, is here with me. And just explain the the format, what happens on a morning like this? Well, this is where we always kind of bring the lads and the horses down in the school, get them all organised into their groups. Um, some horses will be doing different things every day, some going to different gallops, some might be doing, you know, two canters, one canter, going on the sand gallop. So this is where we kind of all bring them, get them organised, and you know, get them trotting maybe five minutes on each rein, you know, make sure they're all, you know, sand and all above board, and then get them out and then get them going, really. Let's just change the reins, we better keep out of the way. So how, how many horses would you have out each lot? I mean, it can vary on, on days like this, you know, we've got, the, you know, the jockeys in, the lads in and a couple of the part-time riders. It could be, you know, 20, 25 odd and a lot. And they said they could all be doing all sorts of different things. You know, we're very lucky here. We've got plenty of gallops to choose from, so we can cater to all the horses' needs. Yeah, I was going to say, what sort of, what sort of gallops are most, mostly all weather or do you use grass? Well, we've got, well, we use the grass on the work mornings. Today we'll probably be using the hill gallop and uh, the carpet gallop as well, the flat gallop for the horses are kind of fitting up together that just need a... You know, one sharp canter just to blow the cobwebs away, ready for uh, next week. And, and, and what's it like on you know, on the eve of the Cheltenham Festival like this? I mean, does everyone, with so many fancied runners as well? There's a great buzz in the yard at the moment. You know, we've got strong chances each day. Well, we like to think we have anyway. And kind of now all the hard work's done, really. I think all the lads, I know, well, I am as well. All the lads are just excited to get going now. All the hard work's done and just get the horses there safe and sound and get the saddle on and let's get going. Some things that people don't really think of. If you're riding a, a fancied horse all the time, it, it must be quite nerve-wracking, terrified, looking for stones not to stand on. And, well, the know. boss did have me one year kind of sweeping stones off the track and I was there <laughs> for a good long time. But um, I, don't, I think it's just, it's just great to be part of, you know. Yeah. I mean, we drew a blank last year. We come close. You know, this year, we like, think we've got some good chances. I mean, it's Charlton Festival. It's ultra-competitive, but... You know, we go there every day with a horse that we think's got a good shout. So we're just all, you know, everyone's just excited. And there's a great buzz around the place, and the horses have run well and consistent all year. So, you know, the mood's good and spirits are high, and I think we're all just ready to get going. And the boss has been there and done it before. What, what's, what's he like? Does he get a bit tense leading up to it? The drive there will be the worst. <laughs> the drive there is a bit edgy in the car on the way there. You know, say if I miss a turning or miss a spot on a roundabout, I get told about it. But once we get there and get settled down and the day gets going, he's. It's all good. It's nice to be there with fancied horses, let's be honest. And it's like, yeah, I mean, we, me and the boss spoke about it last year when we were in the car. We were both getting a bit shaky and we both said if we, if we uh, didn't have this nervous feeling, then you think, you know, maybe the fire's gone. But everyone's just buzzing and excited. And I like said, I think if you didn't get on edge, you wonder why you didn't get up, wake up in the morning and do it. Yeah, well, this is the reason we wake up in the morning here. Just uh, some of the horses uh, go back out to that um, outdoor ride that we saw. Just uh, have a leg stretch. So, look at this over here as well. There's another one just coming coming along. Look at this as well. They've got the, the, the gravestones down here. Catch it, who won the Triumph Hurdle, then went on, of course, to win the, the Champion Hurdle. The Border Success as well. Won a Betfair Chase. And also, go on, remember him. Remember this legend, Viking Flagship. Won the Champion Chase in 94 and 95 so uh, some some lovely memories there anyway as we said we warm up around that outdoor school and then we made our way up onto the gallops horses just having a leg stretch there's elgin followed by janworth alan and they are quite literally just having a just like... just the one canter this morning yeah they, they breezed on saturday morning they went for quite walk around the estate yesterday and they're just doing the one canter this morning it's all, um, the, all the hard work, the main work's done. Yeah, and it's uh, it's lovely, Gav. It's one of these um, carpet gallops, isn't it? Yeah, carpet, chop carpet. Um, it's been in now nearly nearly a year. I'm delighted with it. We just use this as just to freshen them up and put a bit of sharper work into them when we have to. Okay. Just they enjoy that a bit more rather than sending them up the hill every morning. Here comes. Um, we'll keep quiet as they come past us, but. 
Elgin just canter on nice and steadily. Yanworth looking a bit keener in behind, which is obviously what you'd want to see. Just watch them as they come now. Going nice clip. Look at Yanworth right on the bridle. Ears pricked. Just cool. He's got some. It's not to actually. It's not to you see them look close up. He's got some stride. I mean, now. that's what he does more than anything. You know, he lengthens at the end of a race as opposed to quickens. You know, so. Uh, but, um, it, I, bet, I bet you. I mean, you seem quite calm, but it must be so nerve-wracking watching these horses. You know, try and just wrap them in cotton wool, or do you just get blase out of it? Well, I don't say you get blase about it, but there's not much you can do. You no. still got to work them, and um, you know, we're nearly there now. So. And, and you walked Cheltenham, didn't you? Yeah, walked Cheltenham yeah. yesterday. Um, I thought it was pretty slow on the, new, on the old course. I thought it was a lot of soft on it. It will dry, bright couple of days, but I would think we'll be starting good to soft. Can't see it any quicker than that. Mm -hmm. Looks quite calm and collected, doesn't it? There's still some more of the horses just making their way out. Here come um, so I think some owners here that are having a look around. Here comes Alan as well. We'll just watch him. It's just uh, some of the stragglers come out. It really is, you just get that sense of, of, of confidence here that, that things are done properly. Everyone just seems to know from Matt the travelling head lad to Ollie the assistant to, to all the different uh, people here. Everyone just seems to know what's going on. We've been blessed, admittedly. It's an absolutely glorious morning. So we saw Yanworth then actually out on the gallops and we caught up, up, up with him after he'd pulled up. It was a fantastic opportunity to get up close and personal with these horses. Look at Yanworth then. Look at him. He's prick just walking along there. You notice he's got some exercise bandages on in front and uh, a couple of Yorkshire boots in behind just to protect those legs. But just watching him go along there. He looks absolutely exceptional in his coat. Look at the muscle definition on his neck. The shine on him. He looks the picture of health. He really does. Alan just watching them wander around, just telling the lads exactly what he wants to do, where he wants them to go. Now that they've had their canter, they're just going to walk home, keep these horses nice and relaxed. You'll notice that the lads drop their stirrups riding nice and long, got horses on a long range so that they can just Relax and, um, God, he looks beautiful, horse he does. He really, really does. I was so impressed watching him canter. Lovely long stride on him. And there he goes. That's where the lads will be hoping where he is tomorrow, out in front. Well, welcome to Barbary Castle, the stables of Alan King. And uh, there's the horse we just saw schooling. This is Carrigmore. And uh, Tom Cannon, you can see, he's uh, obviously done his work, so... Give him a, a wash down after. You see how, how warm he's got. But uh, have a quick word with Tommy. All seems to go OK? Yeah, it went all right, yeah. One slight miscommunication, but other than that, it wasn't too bad. No, it was good. It's, it's some place, this, isn't it? I mean, I've been going on about all morning. Facilities here, second to none. No, no, it's all, you know, very smart and, um, you know, run properly and, yeah, everything any, anyone could ever want, so yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah. And, and great for you riding a second jockey here now. No, it's fantastic, yeah. yeah, you know, get to sit on a nice horse like this lad and, um, you know, schooling up there and doing it all properly and, uh, you, know, it, you know, it rubs off on you. So. And it, it must help with your riding, doesn't it? You're riding better horses and, and Alan's very definite with, with what he wants. Yeah, no, you're riding, you know, riding better horses, you know, you can take a bit more time on them, um, you know, be, sort of ride a bit more patient race, you're not always trying to sort of draw the sting out of, you know, bad horses all the time, so mm. no, you know, it's definitely, you know, probably improve my riding from you know being associated with the yard anyway. So. And, and and as a second jockey, you never quite know what you're going to be riding at no. the festival. <laughs> and like you say, you have to have to fit in a little bit. But do you know what you're going to? Uh, yeah, I think I you know de I definitely ride called Leon and Triumph. Oh, so good. yeah, he'd have a good chance. And uh, then it's good. I actually yeah. got strong with Master Blyze as well. Yeah, no, um, you know Master Blyze, you know they're, they're both good horses. And uh, you know called Leon, they've gone for the Triumph. But you know he's tough and you know he's won a couple of races. So. Um, you know, he'd have as good a chance as any, and you know, looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. Anything else that stands out? Um, I mean, uh, Rainbow Dream and Fidux and the Fred Winter. That's kind of not decided yet. And then other than that, um, you know, probably just whatever Wayne decides doesn't want to ride yeah, yeah, yeah. it. Well, that's, 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 no, exactly. so it's still a nice. No, it is. Yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah. So. And yeah, as a young jockey, you must. I mean, this is what you. This is what you do it for, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. No, no, exactly. No, um, you know, it's the, I suppose the year really is based to um, geared towards Cheltenham now. So, uh, mm. you know, to be part of it. Um, you know, and have some decent chances and sort of, you know, been following these horses all year and how mm. their kind of season's played out up till now. It's, um, 
you know, hopefully they're all coming right at the right time, so they should have some good chances. Magnificent looking horse, isn't he? Yeah, he's very deep, isn't he? Yeah, three quarters deep. Fantastic. Yeah, right Thank you very much, Shen. There's Tom Kennan. There's another one just coming in. There's Kevin Downing. He rides at the at the festival. He rides the Tourad Man in the um, in the. Martin Pipe as well, so another horse with a with a decent chance. But as I said earlier on, we saw the horses out on the gallops this morning and a little bit earlier, about half an hour ago, we watched them schooling as well. Just watching Carrick Moore then come up over the fence is Tom Cannon on board. Well, he flew that. Alan King watching, just going down to... That was blimey O'Reilly. He really stood off at that, right outside the wings. And he was very clever at the last as well. That was perfect schooling because, because just come over here and have a, have, a, have a look at this. Look where Alan's just treading in, how far off that horse stood. Absolutely extraordinary. And that was, <laughs> he can jump, can't he? He's got scope. It was just unfortunate exit. He was, he was, you know, jumping away ground and the, the ditch on the far side, second time, he, he just walked straight into it, which was un very unfortunate. But he's OK. Um, that's the first time he's schooled since. From your point of view, that was ideal. I mean, he stood right off this fence, and yet he went down to the last and... Popped the right ditch, in... which is lovely, the mm. short one went in. So we'll do that once more. And, uh... how, how, how often would you school horses? I mean, just, for instance, the Cheltenham horses. I mean, do you do, you do anything different? Do you find yourself... No, we schooled oh. them all last week. Um, I think last Monday, Thursday, we did a, a good session. I think we schooled 25 on... or 22 last Thursday morning. Just as... They enjoy it as much as anything, you know? You just... I don't like anything, you get your eye in. So you know? you got eye in, you're using slightly different muscles, but mentally, that most of them enjoy it. And when they're really good form, they'll land over the last one and have a, a buck and a kick, and you always think they're in good form then, you know? And you've got a variety of different obstacles. Oh, you see, we see um, Tom Bellamy. Jim What's Farrow. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to run him in the Martin Pipe now. Ooh. Only hope he jumps better than that. Um, just watch him. That's better. Saw a nice stride there. Just a little bit sloppy at the first, but... Yeah. Back asleep, probably. <laughs> hey, and you've got all sorts of different obstacles here, from permanent fences to portables to... Yeah, you know, I mean, um, we've got, we're scooting over the easy fix fence this morning, but we still have the traditional birch and, and the novice chasers. They must see birch before they oh, okay. ever on a race course. So I, I just prefer that. Does Once that more, sense? Tom. Yeah. Good? Yeah, good yeah. Very good. Let's, uh, we'll keep out of the way then. You see, Carrie Moore's just going to go and jump these three fences again. Just seen a few horses schooling and... There's always a job, there's always a different job, and just treading in, I'm going to have a quick word. Now, this, this young man over here used to work... I knew him when I was at Captain Tim Forster's, and he was working for David Nicholson. George Scouse, of all the years I've known you, I don't even know your name. David. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. How long have how you been here? 2002. As I said, I remember you. I remember you at David Nicholson. What, what good horses do you look after there? Big son, who won the, the Ritz at Cheltenham. Oh, yeah. Um, very promising. The Mackerson. <laughs> the Vincent so Ryan, horses, when he was there, yeah. yeah. Good days, great days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I suppose, obviously, that's where you... Alan was assistant to the Duke, wasn't he? Yeah. And then... Well, Alan, Alan's only a baby. He came eight, seven, eight years after me. <laughs> and then he, he went to be assistant, and then he went on from there. And, and what's your role here? The barn up there, 23 in the barn. That's my department. Oh, right, okay. It's my place, etc., etc. Oh, you've got SMAD of you? Yeah, Grimetti. Oh, brilliant. Oh, wouldn't that, SMAD, I mean, what a legend of a horse. Well, he's done everything that's been asked of him, you yeah. know, and he's always been there or thereabouts. He has hard races all the time, but keeps coming back. Yeah, just, he's just one of those. He's a proper jumper. He's a proper horse, isn't he? You know? Reminds me a little bit for trying, etc. Like, bit like very, like, very promising. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, you yeah. know, he just finds one a little bit too good for him, sort of thing, you know. But the Hennessy made up for all that the other year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and Scouse, you know, you hear so often people say, you know, stable lads, they do it for the, for the love of it. Just tell us what your day consists of, and what time you start and, and what your role is. Get up at 5.15, go and feed mine. 7 o'clock, they ride our first slot, so I tidy mine up, hay, water, bandages, etc. At the moment, I'm sparring a few. Yeah, we saw the spa. Well, just to help cool their legs down and yeah. help them along. Well, as soon as I go from here, I'll be on the spa. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then um, feed around half 12, come back out again at 3, go and check them. Make sure everything's all right. Spar another one if I haven't had time this morning. And then feed about quarter to 5 to be out for 5. 
God, blimey. So it's, a, it's, a, it's full on, isn't it? Just get, just get on with it. And, and what, what time off do you get? It's my weekend off this weekend, so that's Saturday afternoon and Sunday. And then the following weekend I work, so I'll get the Thursday afternoon off. Mm. I'll tell you what, it's, it's, it's hard work, but you plainly, well, you wouldn't have been doing it for so long, you, know, you, you love it, don't you? It's just, it's part and parcel of it, you just do it, you know? And, and what made you come into racing originally, when, when you're in Liverpool and then suddenly you're like, come on? I honestly can't answer that one. <laughs> it's because somebody just said, why don't you go try and go into racing? Well, you've never ridden a horse anything? Never sat on a bloody donkey at Salt Port Beach. <laughs> <laughs> and it went on from there. And, and, and what's it like to work here? Is it? I mean, the, the, everyone seems to know what they're doing. It just seems very organised. It's all right. You just you just get on with it. You know, everyone should know what, what the jobs are, etc., etc. Et so you have your bad times, you have your good times. That's racing, you know. And what do you think, with Chelton just around the corner, how do you think the yard's going to do? Hopefully better than last year. <laughs> I know no winners last year. You know, um, John Wirt's got a chance. My fella's got a little chance each way, Scoot Oil. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, he wasn't far behind Jan Wirt. I know. Weekend, and then you've got um, the young sung one that the... Josh Newman rides in the National Hunt Chase. Oh, what's that, Caro? Caro. If he gets a chip, he could be a nice little each way bet. OK. And, and do, you know you said Scoot Oil, but Jan Wirt, do you think he can win a champion? Yeah. You didn't sound totally convinced. Yeah, though. but he just does enough, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. I must admit, I saw him when I was looking at him, he's a magnificent looking horse. You know, he just does enough, so when the taps, when the pressure's on, might bring the best out of him, mightn't it? Because he always runs on at the end. Mm. Well, Be interested? I've got, I've got to go. Alan said don't keep you talking for long. He said he'll do anything to get out of work. <laughs> I won't answer that one. <laughs> I said it before, but this is an absolutely magical place. It really is. You can see the the sheep in the background, and all the lads then just giving these horses a, a pick of grass after after first lot. I've quick word. A couple of the jocks are out here. Brendan Powell, Junior. I saw Wayne Hutchinson. He's just over there. We'll have a quick word with him in a second. Might be. How are you? Very well yourself? Yeah, lovely. Some place to ride out this, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I, uh, I usually come in on a on a Monday or a Thursday. Um, they usually school, so um, anyway, not far down the road either, so it's nice and handy. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's, it's really sort of regimented. It, it, everyone seems to know what they're doing here. Yeah, it's very well organised, so... Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, it's uh, nice, some nice horses as well. <laughs> some class horses, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, they are, yeah, yeah. Do, do you normally do you just ride anything, whatever you put on here? Or yeah, you basically. Um, you know, obviously, often on a busy schooling morning, you could end up schooling, you know, three, four or five. Yeah. Um, so, but, yeah, no, it's, it's nice. Like I said, it's very regimental, so everyone knows what they're doing. They, everyone's got a part to play. And what about Cheltenham? What have you got there? Um, I think I've won in the champion bumper on Wednesday for okay. Johnny. Um He's had one run in Ireland, the form's worked out really well, and then he ran at Lingfield in an all-weather bumper, finished third, he's only beaten two short heads. Um, and uh, although... What's he wasn't. called? And the new, okay. he's called, yeah. Um, so he's, he's, he's not very big, but uh, I, I could actually see him running quite well in a race like that. He seems to travel very well, so... Um, and, and there's then, been no real sort of talking horses in this year's bumper, has there? There hasn't really, no. No, there hasn't. It's the, all the focus has been, has been on, like, you know, yeah. the Gold Cup and the Champion Hurdle, so... Um, but no, hopefully, you know... Um, Donnie's got one in on a handicap chase on the Thursday as well. You know how hard it is to get into the yeah, races, yeah, so yeah. as long as he gets a run. Um, but uh, you know, it'd be nice to be be involved anyway. Top man, well done. Let's have a quick word with, with Wayne. So much of a part of the team here, and uh, looking very relaxed. Look, he looks like a male. Looks like a male model, doesn't he? There, sort of hand in pocket. But <laughs> how are you? Are you well? Yeah, good. Yeah, all fine. Yeah, it's just it's it's a. It's a Honour to come here, really. It's, it's it's just unbelievable place, isn't it? Yeah, it's very good. Um, spoilt, obviously, facilities, and yeah, just and especially on a morning like this when the sun's up. Yeah, it's it's, it's certainly a lovely place to come to. And the boss seems quite calm. He said he said to me, I said, oh, I was expecting you to be shouting and screaming. He said, oh no, I've mellowed. He said. Yeah, to be fair, I'll give him that one. <laughs> <laughs> he has, but you do. Yeah, certainly. You know, I think uh, the last the last stragglers there first slot that come in late. I think he. He, um, yeah, he, he kept a lid on it for you guys this morning. I think they would have normally got a shout to hurry up. <laughs> but it's, it's, he just, it's done properly here, is it? There's no corners cut, is there? No, it's, it's, 
you know he's he's, he's done it the same way like I've, I've been here nearly 15 years now so um you know and i think it's done the same way as the, the you know the way when he was back at the dukes so um you know and everyone knows their job they know what they're doing and uh, yeah it, it runs itself if you like interesting i mean a lot of the yards these days are riding out four five even six lots and alan would say only three lots here yeah three um sometimes in the winter i think they get four you know when it's busy mm. um you know maybe obviously you know the with staff situation and whatnot but uh, as a rule three lots yeah and uh, you know the horses they're out for sort of you know good hour and a quarter um you know, spent a long time in their box, you mm -hmm. know, 23 hours a day. So, um, you know, they like to come out and have a pick and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it works well. And, and you yourself, looking forward to Cheltenham? Yeah, got yeah. To them, yeah, 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 that's it. Yeah, get today out of the way. We've got a couple at Stratford, but uh, so we've got a nice team going and uh, fingers crossed. What, 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 what your rides that really stand out for you? Um, I think Label does a boca run well. Um, okay. he's, he's, you know, he's got a touch of class. He, he was second. Uh, he won a Grade Two. Went went the hurdle last year at Sandown. Um, he's got his confidence up. Obviously, goes there on the back of two wins. Obviously, you know, he's he's on the obviously tough mark of one four eight. But uh, you know, I say you'd like to think he'd run well. Um, obviously, the Triumph Force Master Blue Eyes. You know, again, same thing. Goes there in good form on the back a couple of wins. Did he? Did he? Did he improve at Kempton? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think winning at Ludlow with his head in his chest has obviously given him a lot of confidence. And at Kempton, that would have been the nicest ground that uh, he he would have run on all season. You know, and uh, I say it's just you know second part of the seasons he's come to hand, and he was a good flat horse. Because um, I quite fancied um, Divin Bay, and, and of course he he finished just behind him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. Um, but I, say, I think we're a better, better horse now, you know. Oh, so. right. Oh, it's not good for me, then, is it? <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, so like I say, we, he, he goes there in, in good nick, and he certainly come to the fore. Um, likes a dusky legend. She, she, you know, if, if if it dries up during the week, you know, on Thursday, she could run well. You know, she was second in the mayor's race last year. You know, she's a... She, you know, she got a full season behind her, if you like. So, you know, she's mo most experienced than, 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 than most um, going there, and... Uh, yeah, she, at the end to end two mile gallop, you know, she excelled last year. So um, hopefully, you know, she could run well again. And Wayne, you're a hardened campaigner now, if you like, but do, do you still look forward to Cheltenham? Yeah, very much so, yeah. yeah. Um, you know, and it's, it's you, you, I personally try to treat it, you know, the same as any other day, but like, it's, you know, even this morning. Must be hard. It is. I mean, even this morning, you come in the day before and then you've got the likes of you guys <laughs> here, you know, and, and it, it is different. It is different, but at the same time, you know, just. Um, yeah, just try to take the pressure off yourself and, it, it, like you say, it's just another horse race. Top man, we'll let you get on. Thanks. Now, this is Uxie's Andre, and he's just going in the spa. He'll stand in there for round about half an hour. Obviously, as we know, win of the Ryanair chase under A.P. McCoy, and he ran an absolute screamer on his comeback. There's Scouse just putting all the various equipment that he needs you can tell as well they they enjoy that now they'll turn the different settings on so that just watch this so you can have all sorts of different come, Caroline come and explain to us what's going on here oh god come on <laughs> well he's just basically gone in the spa and the, we've switched the water on so it'll now come up to just just below his knees and then we put the bubbles on to give him the nice spa yeah. effect yeah yeah and then he'll stay in there for half an hour and it what, just cools the legs down, yeah, stimulates just, them? Yeah, it stimulates them. It's really, really cold. It's not Is just it? a cooling, it's a very cold. <laughs> yeah. And uh, just, you know. Oh, I'll, tell, I'll tell you what the interesting is. He, he loves it, you can tell. He they, does they, love they it, really yeah. yeah. It, he, re he, really, yeah he really enjoys going on there. And how many horses would go on this? Uh, uh, we sometimes put three, four do you, do you? on every day, yeah. yeah. Looks he's on, drove another word with, with Scouse. Now this lad... You must have been, oh, here we go, we're just changing things, putting the, putting the air on, oh, you can hear it bubbling away. I mean, this had an absolute scream on his comeback, didn't he? Brilliant one, absolutely brilliant one. Just let's hope he can go forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, what's, and what's he like as, a, as an individual? I mean, he looks incredibly late back. All right, most horses are a bit iffy when he first go in the spa, obviously. Okay. But, um, no, it's very good. Isn't it? We were talking to you earlier on about David Nicholson's, I mean, when you think of all these these modern you know, these modern things, imagine the Duke with this. You know. Oh, he would last five minutes. <laughs> no. Get him out, get him out. <laughs> no, it's absolutely fantastic. Anyway, thanks for letting you get on. Right, no to sort the Cheltenham Festival, Alan King will have the cleanest horse box. That is for sure. Let's go have a quick word with 
Matt, who travels all the horses, very impressed with this, Matt. Very impressed indeed. What for you, what does a day entail then when you're going racing? Uh, normal day, come in, get tack ready, uh, get the horses ready, load up. Uh, what, what sort of time would you get in then? Uh, I'm in at seven most mornings, but earlier from going racing earlier during the winter, but racing get a later now, obviously don't leave till later on in the day, so um, we aim to get to the races three hours before. It must be a logistical nightmare for you as the time ahead. Like just sorting out all the different bridles, all the different extras yeah, of the well, horses. Been do, been doing it quite a while now. So it's <laughs> how, long, how, how long have you been doing it? Uh, just under 11 years here now. Have you? Yeah, yeah. So. You like it then? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what, what, what's, the, what's the boss like at the races? Uh, he's grand. Uh, he leads me to it to get on with my job and uh, no, he leaves me alone. Yeah, yeah. So, no. Right, well get on with it then I would just say even if you don't beat Willie Mullins you'll have a cleaner horse box than him. Yeah. <laughs> Top man right let's just make our way over here all sorts of things there's just so much going on let's go over here then we'll um the horses have just come in from just come in from first lot there's Wayne Hutchinson just going along Wayne O and um see all the horses really relaxed let's make our way down here and there's uh, Brendan Powell Jr. at the back there. See what they do. They've gone down here. They've sponged the horses off. And then they'll put their Whitney blankets that they exercise blankets over the backs of the horses just to keep them warm. Although it's, a, it's actually a glorious morning here. It's um, a little bit of a, a bite in the air. Look at them. Just show you exactly what, what happens here. All right. How are you? It's, you can see all the, the different see everyone just um, over here just washing the horses off and then you've got all the various pieces of equipment down here as well you can see this one there we go just look at this just come over here you can see all the the different things that they they have here there's uh, the running martingale that they have every horse obviously you put a, a rubber underneath underneath the saddle as well so they have a clean one of those on you've got the exercise bandages and also all the horses just to minimize any infection or disease that might be about they've got a, a girth cover as well and you can see this one got a non-slip pad as well just to keep the just to keep the tack in place let's have a wander over here see some of the others it's, it's a really really finely tuned machine when you've got this many horses you can see all the lads then, they'll uh, get their horses ready, keep them nice and warm, and then it'll be off for breakfast.